Hey guys, welcome back to another Lemo demo. Uh, we're here at Norman's Red Guitars with my good friend Joel. Uh, Joel does the repairs here, as you all know, and I'm sure he's worked on some of your guitars. Uh, he sets up my guitar all the time, and everybody's asking what I got in there, and it's all stock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, today we got a, a K um, from the late 50s. Uh, this is a Barney Kessel with the cool Kelvinator headstock. Um, but Joel uh, worked on this guitar, um, you know, so uh, he'll tell you more about it. Check it out. So what happened when we got this instrument was uh, I had to reset the neck on it. It's just from it sitting from over time from someone even playing it, wood expands and contracts and everything kind of just moves south as you would uh, like to call it. So the neck needs to be reset, that's re-angling the neck into the body so the action is low and it has nice uh, pitch and angle to it now. Uh, so the cool thing about this guitar is it came with the original truss rod key, uh, which is really unheard of to even find with these. And that goes right in the back there, and that's where you adjust the truss rod on this instrument. It's kind of unique. It's pretty cool. Yeah, something different. Uh, it also came with the original, uh, original case, the hard case, which is almost looks like a like a Les Paul case, it's it's pretty cool. Like a brochure? Yeah, there's some cool book in here that says Hawaiian Sunset Pieces music. Of music, cheap music. Maybe this is what the person played on the instrument yeah. <laughs> back then. Uh, yeah, well, with then. the Barney Kessel name, it was probably reading and doing studio session work. and Absolutely. That's, that's amazing. So this, uh, is, this is more a top of the model, kind of top of the line kind of instrument that, that Kay made back then. Uh, they also made another one that was a little bit bigger than this. Uh, this is cool because it's like a mini. Uh, yeah. 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 No, it caught my eye because the neck is is an interesting feel. Like it just stays wide the whole time, but it but it's fun, and uh, and it just has a the tone knob and the volume. Uh, we're gonna play it a little bit. This uh, tissue box kind of pickup uh, is a little noisy, so you might get a little buzz, but. Uh, Check out this guitar, it's pretty cool. And we're going through this Rickenbacker uh, electro amp. Uh, it's got a really cool um, tremolo system to it, something unique. But uh, it doesn't get very loud, but I'm sure you'll hear it well. Here we go. This is an uh, original piece that I have. That Joel is always stealing. <laughs> It's got a cool, nice, mellow sound, and uh, yeah, thank you, Joel, for uh, sharing us. And you did a great job on this guitar. Uh, another note, too, uh, tomorrow um, we'll be doing another Lemo demo, and I'll be releasing my official uh, demo. Uh, I've recorded this record all last year, and I'm pretty excited. So tune in tomorrow. It'll be live everywhere, Spotify, iTunes, and uh, yeah, we'll be talking about it. Take care.